mentioned Gadeptin, and uh, that was the next topic I wanted to, to, to go into, uh, because Keytruda was recently approved in curative perioperative context for head and neck cancer. And I, I wanted to know how that informs your decision to choose a, um, a combination of Gadeptin and a checkpoint inhibitor uh, with, that, with that approval out there for Keytruda. So how do you see that, that trial going ahead, the next trial for um, Gadeptin going forward? And, and how does, how does that approval inform your decision to find a partner for that? It's an excellent set of questions, an excellent topic, and a timely one, because based upon this recent approval for Gadeptin, we shifted and we issued a press release to that effect that, that in late uh, July that we had shifted our plans for our, our upcoming phase two away from the, the, the first recurrent head and neck cancer to, mm -hmm. to first line. So mm -hmm. first diagnosis head and neck cancer and a perioperative strategy, because we believe based on what we've seen from our uh, preclinical work of, of utilizing gadeptin in conjunction with uh, an immune checkpoint inhibitor, specifically Keytruda, that we have the opportunity to improve upon the results that were the basis for the recent approval and the sort of the keynote, uh, the keynote, uh, I think it's 689 trial, whatever the one was that, yeah. they, uh, that they addressed within that time frame. So we have uh, changed our, uh, modified our approach for the protocol. Uh, that study, the product uh, is being manufactured now. We're targeted to start that phase two trial in the second half, hopefully third quarter of of 2026. We're quite excited about it. We've already hired the, uh, you know, we've we've hired the uh, the CRO uh, uh, relationship okay. with that. Laying, we're refining the protocol. There's certain regulatory filings we have to do. Uh, this study will be conducted both in the U.S. and the EU. So it is a major priority because, as as we've indicated uh, previously, gadeptin is a is, is a core technology that is agnostic to the solid tumor one may be addressing. As long as that is needle accessible, we can utilize the technology, and we see uh, a a future for gadeptin that really is the basis for an entire franchise, if not an entire standalone company.